we got full hit points again. And now instead of ghosts, there are pigmen. And the uh, ghost bazaar is actually closed. So, pig masks have 160 hit points. And they are weak to basically something we can't do right now. But... They are pretty easy to put to sleep. That said, the best uh, thing you can do is just go all out and attack them, because... They're pretty easy to kill. They do drop a decent healing item, though. And in this room, you have the Recon Mech. Recon Mechs have 60, 90 hit points. Yeah, let's just use one. Uh, they are weak to Thunder. I do like the, uh... The pig mask battle theme. It's pretty good. Bag of pork chips. And... Some rotten milk there. I'm not. I didn't get these uh, items earlier on purpose. Let's see. All right. I do want this beef jerky now, though. Uh, the downstairs there actually does. It leads to a dead end. There's no. There's no reason to go down there right now. That's for another character. Yeah. See, Wes can throw thunder bombs. throw away this edible mushroom. Let's not worry about you. Oh shoot, I got stuck. I was trying to run past that guy. Take that. They have about 50% uh, chance to drop those bag of pork chips. The bag of pork chips are not quite as good as the uh, beef jerky. They only restore 50 hit points instead of 60. But they're still pretty good. Yep. If you uh, have a rotten eclair, you can still trade to this ghost here. And all the enemies to this up after this point are the same as they were before. Oh, I forgot to read this earlier, so let's read that. Yeah, so. Let's actually fight both of these guys. Um, smoke bomb. Nice. Thunderbomb. Great. It's wonderful. With Wes, these battles are a lot easier. Not that they were too difficult to begin with. Do I still have... No, I got rid of it. That's fine, though, right? Yeah, that's fine. I do want to show off one of these guys. The Sudors. Sudors are weak to being made to cry. So we want to cause them to cry. These guys are kind of annoying because they can actually uh, make you nauseous. And that was the thing that I was most worried about earlier. They have 215 hit points. Alright. 
can also be made to put, it can also be put to sleep. So, that's how you beat the Sudors. Yeah, but... We don't have to fight those guys. And in this room, we can take a nap. Boom. Full hit points. There's actually, on YouTube, I don't know if it's still there, but... Somebody made a custom animation of Kumatora doing this, uh, this event that Wes is about to do. And I wonder if it's, like, I haven't looked in a while, but I wonder if it's still on YouTube. I mean, because obviously Kumatora would have to do this dance to get through the story, too. I'm not gonna stick my butt out or anything. Duster immediately looks. Wes is incredibly abusive to his son. Anyway. Anyway, this trash can right here. Hopefully we won't have to use that. Boom! I think that's the only time in, uh... They never, in Mother 1 or Earthbound, you never see anybody use any PK, met, PK skills outside of battle. Like, other than teleport. Right? That's true, right? But yeah, she just threw... PK freeze at us. I like, uh, I like her. Shh. This is, um, She's interesting. She's definitely a uh, a nice contrast to the previous two female leads of Earthbound and Mother, whereas both of those they're blonde girly girls. I didn't steal it. You dropped it. Why would you smell his breath? But anyway, this is Kumatora. Like I said, she's a she's a very interesting uh, opposite of the previous two female leads. Both of them were blonde, very feminine. They fought with cooking utensils. They wore pink dresses. Kumatora is a uh, they had long hair. Kumatora is a short-haired redhead who wears a blue dress. Cusses a lot, and instead of using frying pans, she just straight up punches things. She's got gloves. Also, her name means Bear Tiger. She's Princess Bear Tiger. Yeah, definitely different than Paula. 
but you know what? That's great. And now Kumatora joins the party. And she is our black mage for the game. She starts with PK Fire and PK Freeze. And in the next two levels, she will learn PK Life Up and Thunder. But anyway, yeah, she, she fights with gloves. Uh, do we want to give her... Nah, we're just gonna get, leave the items on Duster. She's fine. The word on the wind. Whoosh. This game is very weird. guys are lingering spirits. They can be put to sleep pretty easily. Uh, and PK Freeze will one-shot them. So basically the best strategy here is to just use the uh, Hypno -pen Pendulum. fast as Kumatora. Yeah. They're about the same speed as Kumatora, so the, the best thing to do is use the, uh, the Hypno Pendulum since Duster's faster, and then, if you're lucky, it'll put them to sleep, and then Kumatora can come in and just kill them with the uh, PK Freeze. They have really, really, really high defense, so it's not good to try and fight them. Even Duster will only do a few points of damage. However, they do have a 20% chance to drop Magic Gelatin. There's the Flea Charm that I told you we would find here. So, um, farming a couple of Magical Gelatins off these guys is actually not a bad thing. So we want to hypno pendulum the second one and freeze the first. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, Wes. They can cast PK Fire Alpha on you, which is, will hit your entire party for like 20 points of damage. It's not a lot of damage, but if you end up somehow fighting more than one of them, it can be troublesome. Alright, hopefully Kumatora will get one more level. That's what we want. All right, listen here, man. You may have noticed that uh, all the characters actually have different uh, noises that their attacks make. Duster's is actually supposed to be a bass guitar, and uh, I think Kumatora's might be an electric guitar. Whatever. 
thought it listed it here on the wiki, but it doesn't. Okay, so these are Osohi capes. Uh, they are incredibly weak to being wall stapled, probably because they're garments. So just wall stapled them. Uh, you want to wall staple them because they are it's incredibly dangerous. They can cast PK Freeze Alpha, and they can steal your uh, Kumatora's PP with PSI Magnet. So that's very dangerous. They're weak to fire if you want to actually use a PK move on them. They have 189 hit points. But yeah, no. Wall staples, way to go. The, the last time I played through this, I actually got, uh, I ended up with, uh, like four of those magic gelatins. But it's early days yet because we can still end up having to backtrack through here. And I'm probably going to end up having to backtrack just because, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see, you'll see. This room right here. So if you run into those, uh, If they touch you at all, they sweep you into that garbage can. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> uh, let's go ahead and use Oops, use this nut bread. Yep. But it's fine, because fighting these guys is great. I can get more magic gelatin, possibly. They have about a 20% chance to drop it. So. They're also easy experience. So that's great as well. I want Kumatora to get one more level. Yep, there it is. Okay. Really lucky. I, I'm, I'm not getting. I'm getting pretty unlucky, actually, by not getting the uh, magic gelatins. But because these guys drop the magic gelatins, they're actually the probably the best monster up here to grind levels on, if you want to do that. Because you can one shot them with PK freeze and basically one every in every five battles you're guaranteed to get uh, 20 PP back. So that's great. Oh no, I got. Oh well, it's fine. Run! Thank you, shit. Alright, and we're going to wall staple you and then freeze you. Alright, now we're just gonna beat you to death with our hands. At this point, I've got enough hit points that, like, eating a PK Freeze doesn't really bother me. 